Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about the master slave flip flop. Last time we talked about different type of flip flops. Now I show you what a master slave flip flop is. What it is doing. So let's come to the symbol or to the internal thing. Yeah. There are two flip flops inside. One master flip flop and a slave flip flop. Both are edge triggered. The slave flip flop, however, is triggered at the falling edge. So there is the C and the C is also triggering the slave. JK and here we go directly through. If this is a JK or an SR it doesn't really matter. It would work in both ways. Let's see what is happening here. Okay. Regardless of what was the state, yeah, the following thing is happening. If we have here a rising edge, I use the rising on rising edge, yeah, the content from here will appear at the output, right? But the output of the complete flip-flop, so this is actually, this is the big, this is one thing here. So this is one thing, internally there are two, and the symbol, we can only see the outer part, it almost looks like a standard JK flip-flop but there is a little here okay falling edge this should mean so on the output here we do not see anything because it was just internally stored and then on the falling edge here So the rising edge, it just appeared here, whatever it is. Yeah? And on the falling edge, it will then get to the output, but only after the falling edge, not on the rising edge. Okay? What does it mean? Yeah? Why do we do this? Because actually, if we do feed this back here directly, yeah, it might, then I have timing issues. Yeah? Sometimes some elements are faster, some elements are slower. So, and I maybe reach a state where it cycles around and there's an uncertain output. Logic is logic and should not be maybe. Yeah? Maybe is not a logic word. So, to decouple these things, yeah, you can use such type of flip-flops, which will read the input on the rising edge and on the falling edge for the next rising edge, wherever this is used, the stored thing will appear at the output. Master slave flip-flop. Yeah, usually used in such, in such cases. That's it. That's it. Now there's nothing more to say about flip flops, or at least you will not hear anything from me from my side. Now we're coming to applications. And one of the first applications is a counter. Next time we're talking about counters. Next video. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.